See, it's not enough to have worth because you have work. I mean, you, you have work. You got to know what your worth is. Right. 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 See, we've been lied to. Okay. <laughs> we have been lied to. And if you don't know where you come from, then of course you, you won't know what you can be. They have had folks and told these stories. If you didn't know any better, you would think that the story about people was people over in Africa swinging on huts and trees, and that we came over here, and it was slavery, we fought slavery, and now we have Barack Obama. That's our story. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being serious. If you didn't know better, this is what you would think. But how many people knew about people like James Fort? Write his name down, so I want you to think I'm make, make, making this up. James Fort, F-O-R-T-E-N. Black, millionaire. In the 1700s, see the stuff people don't know about. In the 1700s, I say 1700s, he made his money doing for boating, shipping. You gotta know who you are. That's why I said, look around. You come from people who change this world. Y'all flew in here in the D.C. in the Reagan, or most of you flew in the Reagan. You see the Washington Monument. What is the Washington Monument? An obelisk. Where does an obelisk come from? Egypt. That the most sacred symbol in our country would be an African symbol. Amen. Yes. That's you. That's us. We come from people. We come from people who change the world. Scientists, inventors, pioneers, visionaries, people who never stop. That's what you come from. That's right. You you don't come from no puny stop. You don't come from apes and monkeys. You come from greatness. And greatness lives on the inside. That's what that faith is. I'm not my circumstances. That's why I want you to give me anything else from it. Hear this. You aren't where you live no more than I was living in that trailer park. That doesn't define you. That's where you live. You aren't what's in your bank account. That's what's in your bank account. That doesn't define you. You are a part of a lineage of greatness. People who changed the world. And we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to take what we have and do more with it. Y'all keep hearing, and I have to harp on this, for, every, for all of us here, it's 25,000. And it's, and it's important for us to know we're not here because we're the smartest. We're not here because we did everything right. We're here because of a grace that carries us. And until you recognize that grace, that's when the greatness of your life really begins to come. So I'm going to leave you with this. And this is actually the... the the subject of my book, The Power to Think, The Will to Act. Now, this book took me three years actually to write. And I'm telling you this because I want people to hear this. Sometimes you're going through something and you really don't know why. How many people have been there? How many people have been there? I want you to know why. Did you go back to your hotel rooms and then later you go on to your schools? It's because greatness Greatness has to be refined. It's like gold. Who's ever seen gold made? Gold purification. See, this is, this is interesting. If you ever see gold being made, what they do is they take gold. Most people don't know this. Gold is not the most precious metal because it's so rare. There's actually other metals that are more rare. What gives gold its value is that it's taken as this raw form out of the ground, but then it's got to go through a purification process. And the purification is not by water. Somebody needs to hear me on this. It's not by sand. The purification is by fire. Yes. And what happens is it's not thrown in the fire once. That's not how you get gold purified. It has to be put in the fire and taken out and then to put back in the fire and taken out. And then it's put back in the fire and it's taken out. And then this can happen up to 10 times where it's thrown into this thousand plus degree heat and taken out until finally we can say the gold is gone. 